to this week's Tech TV. I am Jake from Barton Technology, your local IT experts, and today I'm going to be showing you a short video on Windows 8. So, with the introduction of Windows 8, Microsoft have attempted to create a consistent user interface throughout Windows PCs, Windows tablets, Windows phones, and games consoles. They have also created a user-friendly interface for both the touchscreen devices and the traditional keyboard and mouse devices. So in front of us is the Start Panel. This is made up of tiles, which use to open applications, each tile shows a preview of up-to-date information, such as the weather tile. Um, this shows the weather currently in uh, whatever location you've set it to. Let's start by going through the Internet Explorer app. Um, there are a few main differences between this one and the previous Internet Explorers. One of the main things to note would be um, that the search bar is actually at the bottom of the screen this time. And another thing would be to note that obviously it's opened up in a full screen mode there. So let's simply start just by going to Google. So yeah, as you can see, it's all pretty much the same there. Okay, to go back to um, the start panel, we need to just press the Windows key. And let's start by going through the charms. So to get to the charms, you simply slide up to the right hand side of the screen. And they come across on the right here. So the first charm is your search just allows you to search the whole machine. You've got the sharing charm underneath that, which allows you to share with any of your devices. The start, which is, takes you back to the start panel again. The devices, um, which gives you any device on the machine, and the settings, which is just all the settings on the machine. Okay, now let's move on to the Windows 8 desktop. For Windows 7 users, this will be the most familiar area so far. The similarities are the taskbar at the bottom of the screen, and also the system tray. You can still pin to the taskbar, you see, I pinned my Google Chrome there. This is the on-screen keyboard within Windows 8 for the touch users. Now let's go through a couple of hints and tips. Um, if you want to get the computer icon and the control panel icon, you simply right-click and select Personalize. And there you see up the top we've got Create Desktop Icon. And there you can just select whatever you like. So let's just select Computer. And we'll put Control Panel in there as well. Another good thing to note would be if you simply right click on the start panel, um, this comes up down the bottom right and that will give you options. If you select that, you get all the applications which are installed on the machine. From here you can actually search, um, so I'm just going to search for Google and uh, straight away it's brought up Google Chrome there. Another thing to note would be the lock screen with Windows 8. If you right click your username and click lock, this will bring up your lock screen. To unlock, you simply just slide up and that just brings you straight back into Windows there. Another thing is just the personalization. If you just right click the, your username, you can personalize your account picture and um, your start screen so you can change all the colors in your de and your uh, desktop wallpaper. And then you can also uh, change your lock screen. So just change any settings there on your lock screen as well. Okay, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to email us at support at bartech.co.uk if you have any questions. Please let us know what you think of the episode in the comments below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, read our blog, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So, see you next time on Tech TV, brought to you by Barton Technology, passionate about your business uptime.